Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to be doing a slightly different video. Uh, it's going to be a tutorial on how to fix the no audio issue with Game Capture HD for Elgato. So I actually had this issue for a little while when you click this button here, the um, audio is supposed to play through the computer and when you record it's supposed to play the audio in the recording. Um, now I had an issue where I would record and there'd be no game sound um, and then I checked on here and I clicked this button here and there was no game sound so i'm just going to show you quickly now that there is game sound okay um so that's just a what it should be like so i'm going to show you a few different methods um there's one method which i'm going to show you first which i would recommend that you try this method out first um as i tried all the other other methods myself and it didn't myself sorry and it didn't actually work um so this is going to be probably the best method is going to work for you 60% of the time I'd say and the other 40% is going to be system settings on your console um, so let's begin so first of all the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this icon from the dock and you're going to want to stick it in the trash don't know if you can do that while it's open actually let me close that oh that's one last one Alright, so now that's in the trash, you're going to want to go to your applications. And you're going to want to find Game Capture HD, and you're going to want to throw that in the trash as well. Um, I would recommend emptying the trash, but not just yet. There is one, one other thing you're going to want to do. So you're going to want to click on the Go button up here. You're going to want to hold down Alt, um, and this library will pop up. So you can see that when you hold that, that pops up. So you're going to want to click on that. And you're going to want to find this right here, com.elgato.gamecapturehd.plist. So it's going to be the preferences um, for Game Capture HD. And you're going to want to throw that in the trash as well. You're going to want to then empty the trash. And you're going to want to get your... No... Um, no, I'm just going to re-download it from the actual website, so I will cut this out and we'll get back to it in a second. Actually, maybe I won't cut it out, it's going pretty quick. So once you've got uh, once you've got this, you're gonna want to install it. And it should bring you to a fresh installation. Now sometimes it's happened with me where I'll move this across, I'll open it up. Um and it will just be like I never uninstalled it. Um, then you can just close the application and open it again if that happens and it should uh, use it as a fresh install. So let's see what happens here. Now unfortunately if you have made any recordings whilst this has been um, an issue for um, whilst you've had this this no audio issue unfortunately you're not going to be able to rectify that unless you use a separate uh, commentary application to add a commentary over the top um, now you can see here that I've just opened up game capture HD and it's gone back to how it was before so it's like I never uninstalled it I'm gonna close that again reopen it and you've got a brand new installation So once you've done that, everything should be back to normal. And you can see now that this audio is um, open, so you'll be able to hear it straight away. There you go. Um, and that should, in theory, fix the issue. Um, now, if that hasn't worked, um, there's going to be another method, which I will show you now. If I can remember how to full screen this.
yeah, I can't remember how to full screen this. Um, I haven't been using it for very long myself. So what we're going to do instead is you can just watch it. So I'm just going to show you here quickly. So you're just going to want to go to your console settings. It should be very similar for PlayStation or Xbox. Uh, I am using Xbox for this. Uh, you're going to want to go down to s display and sound and go to your audio output. And you're going to want to make sure that these are both on stereo uncompressed rather than sort of like uh, 7.1 or whatever. Um, and the optical audio stereo uncompressed as well uh, for the volume. Uh, that should all actually be fine. And uh, video output should just yeah just just keep it as that. Um, so as long as those settings match, um, and you've done the deleting the preferences file. Uh, you should be absolutely fine to go. Um, if you do have any other issues, uh, please let me know in the comments and I will be sure to reply to you and help you out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you managed to learn something. Take it easy. Peace.